Okay, so let me begin by describing you what this video is all about. So you love to play PUBG Mobile on your PC using the Tencent Gaming Buddy emulator. But since you don't have a powerful GPU or no GPU at all, the game lags a lot on your system. So in order to solve the problem, you set all the graphics to the lowest settings possible, hoping that it would help you improve the performance. But still, it didn't help. Now if you can relate to all of that, then you should definitely watch this video till the end because in this video, I'll be guiding you on how you can get consistent frame rates with almost no lag even when you play in higher graphics settings on your low or mid-end system. So let's get rid of this problem once and for all. So hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Texture1504, my name is itself and without wasting any further time, let's start this video. Now I'm about to show you what is responsible for the lag in this game. So as you can see that I'm in the game and the gameplay is not so smooth even when I set the graphics to the lowest settings possible. Now I have a dedicated low-end Nvidia graphics card which can run other games smoothly that are far more power hungry than this game. So let me explain to you the reason for this lag. So if I go to the search bar and then type txtiag while the game is running, then you can see that under the paging file size, the memory being used is far more than or close to the memory that is actually provided to it. So basically what the game is asking for is more than what we are actually providing. So in order to solve it, what we need to do is increase the paging memory of our system so that it meets the requirements of the game. So get ready and do everything exactly as I do and you can play PUBG Mobile on high settings with consistent frame rates. By the way, what I'm about to show you is completely safe and is not gonna harm your system in any possible manner. Just follow the steps properly and you're good to go. So first, right click on this PC and hit properties. Here go to the advanced system settings and under the performance tab, click on settings. Now here go to advanced and then under the virtual memory you can see that the paging file size is even less than 4 gigabytes. So we need to increase it. So click on change. Here uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So once you do that select a drive in which windows is installed. In my case and probably in yours it'll be C drive. So click on it and down here click on custom size. So the step that I'm about to tell you is very important, so understand it carefully. Here you can see that I've got almost 41GB of free space in my C drive. So you need to check on how much free space you've got in yours. And once you do that, you need to set the paging file size to anywhere from 8GB to 16GB based on how much free space is in your drive. Now remember that the original paging file size was just about 3.5GB, which was not enough. Now since I've got 41GB of free space, it's okay for me if I set it as 8GB or even 16GB. So I'll set it to 8GB which is equal to 8000MB and then click on OK. Now don't set it more than 16GB as you wouldn't be needing that much memory. So once you click on apply, it'll recommend you to restart your device. So click on restart later because we're not done yet. So now we just need to do one more thing before we are done. So click on the windows button down here and then scroll down until you see the windows administrative tools option. So click on it and under that option click on local security policy. So once you do that this thing should show up. So what we'll do here is give you the admin rights to apply the changes that we earlier made. So for this you need to know the admin name of your system. So in my case, it's Sudhir Kumar Sinha. He's my dad and it's basically his laptop and hence his name. So once you know the name, head back to the local security policy settings that we opened. And once we're here, click on local policy and then we'll double click on user rights assignments. Then down here, you'll find lock pages in memory. So just double click on it so that it opens up like this. Now here we need to give the admin the access to be capable of changing the paging file size. And for that we will click on add user or group. And here we need to type the admin's name the one I showed you earlier. In my case it's Sudhir Kumar Sinha so I'll type it here. Now do not make any mistakes while typing the admin's name. 
So once done, click on check names and then OK. And then again OK and exit out of this thing. Now we are done. So simply restart your system. Uh, it may take a little longer than usual, but don't worry since it's an indication that your system has adopted to the new settings. So my device has restarted. Now let me show you how much paging file size is it actually showing now. So as you can see that the size has increased and the only thing that's left for us to do now is to try the game. Now let me show you that the graphics are set to 1080p rather than the previous 720p resolution. And even after that the gameplay is super smooth and there's no lag while playing the game. So this was it for today guys, I really hope that this video was helpful to you and if it was, do tell me in the comment section and if you're facing any difficulties then also let me know and I'll try my best to help you solve your problems. So like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such useful videos because I bring them on a regular basis. So I'll see you guys in my next video, till then, goodbye.